it's like an annual goose convention out here. I'm trying to get close without disturbing them, but there's a whole bunch of geese on the river here. This crew here is on the move. These ones are hanging tight. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of them down here too. Right along here as well. Now I could be wrong, but don't geese fly south for the winter? I really wish I had my better camera out here because right now you probably can't see it, but they're dipping their heads in the water. They're bathing themselves. They're ruffling their plumage. They're just relaxing in what has got to be freezing waters. It's really cold out here. I think it's like minus 10 degrees. I'm, I'm freezing. I'm also in shorts. So that, that could be part of it, but still it's cold. All right. Well, happy new year geese. Yeah, and Happy New Year to you, too. You know, I can probably do a better Happy New Year than that. Just give me one second. Happy New Year! That was, uh, that was key litter. I didn't have confetti. And it's technically not New Year's either. It's December 31st at the time of this recording, but I wanted to have this to release on January 1st, which will be the new year. So happy new year to you. Despite the date today, if you're willing to go along with it, that makes this the first vlog of 2019. And <laughs> what better way to start than with a kitty? Hi, Elvis. You gonna let me, uh, let me in? No, you don't eat it. All right, well, I've got a little arts and crafts project to work on because it's New Year's Eve or New Year's whenever you're watching this. Either way, it's that time of year when people start getting inspired to create New Year's resolutions. Now, I have always resisted this somewhat because my feeling is if there's something you want to change in your life, well, then just do it today, whenever today is. Don't wait until some magical New Year's like that is going to change anything. But here's the thing, humans are funny creatures and we find inspiration in things like the changing of the calendar. And look, wherever you find your motivation to do something better for yourself, uh, latch onto that and use it. So I, I'm also going to be using it. I'm, I'm planning a few changes for the coming year. I really would like to run a full marathon sometime this year. And I just like to generally get into better shape. And exercise is something that's always been Something I've aspired to, I actually have this little journal from, I started this December 5th, 1999. Well, let me just show you. I wish to be the healthiest person alive. <laughs> it is a clear, concise, and arrogantly lofty goal, but it will keep me from ever arriving, and hopefully that will keep me from ever stopping. There is something in the ambition of that, which still speaks to me today. Like there's some part of me, it's like, well, Rod, you didn't fail. You, you haven't finished yet. You're, you're still working on it. So you haven't failed in this goal. Just keep at it. And honestly, there is some, some part of my mind that's thinking that today. And as an adult, what I've learned is I have to set goals that one, I can be in control of, and two, that it is feasible that I will complete. And so I have a new goal like that today. Here's my goal. I want to complete this workout program. This is called 22 Minute Hard Chords by Tony Horton, the guy who's behind the P90X series, you're familiar with that. This is a program that I purchased, well, I think a couple of years ago and started but didn't finish. And I, I started the program today, but here's the thing. No matter what your goals may be, and maybe you have some for this year as well, I think the solution to accomplishing them is just don't give up. I started this in 1999, and although it may look like it from certain periods of my life, I've never up here given up. And I'm gonna keep putting it in action out here in the real world. Now, will I ever be the healthiest person alive? No, but I know what I was going for there. In fact, I think I rephrased it a little later on here. I say something like, okay, my actual goal is to consistently behave in a healthy manner more often than not. Right? It's about making better choices. And I don't know what your particular goals 
may or may not be, but I would encourage you to just, you know, look, use the new year if you have to as a way of saying, okay, I'm gonna pick one of those goals and I'm gonna try to strive for it. So I've got my schedule here. I've written at the top, do not quit, okay? And I finished this first box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scratch this off and every day I'm gonna scratch off another box. And eventually, I'm gonna get down here. And eventually, I'm gonna face Hell Week and I'm gonna complete it. And that's gonna be sometime in March. This is something I wanna do and I think the lesson here is do not quit. And I'm going to try not to quit. Whatever it is you're facing that you really want to accomplish, I hope that you can find kind of that same motivation. Here's the thing. You may run out of that motivation. I, I've definitely experienced that in my life. Back in 1999, I had a lot of motivation, and then it fizzled out. That's why we have all these blank pages back here. But I'm back here in 2017, 18, 19, 2019, and I'm going to keep going. I haven't given up. I'm not giving up. I don't think you should either. By the way, I don't mean to turn this into some kind of weird pseudo motivational talk. It's just, this was what was on my mind today. So I wanted to share that. I have to go uh, shoot a video for Watch It Play. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll, uh, I'll catch back with you later. Well, Luke, uh, we're ready to go to lunch. Yep. And uh, we're waiting on somebody. Andrea, yep. Who was informed about 10 minutes ago that we were going to lunch and said she would be right along. What is going on no. in here? <laughs> what is happening? I'm so sorry you had to see Guys, that. I'm packing for a year long trip. Are you packing? It doesn't look, it looks like you're unpacking. Process! Unbelievable. Uh, did we just lose the cat in the closet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get him out. <laughs> this creature, you open any door, the cat just inside. Runs inside. You got him out. <laughs> you got him out. Now, can we keep him out? <laughs> I don't think so. I love when his legs. Look like he's, like from the bottom half, he could be a rabbit <laughs> and you wouldn't, you wouldn't know, right? All right, let's, let's go, you crazy let's creatures. Go. Time to eat. Okay, it's midday. Check it out. The geese are back or they never left. Look at all of them. There's a horde of them here. This is like their favorite hangout spot. That makes me really happy. Check that out. That's like a whole gaggle of geese. I don't know if that's the term for a collection of geese. Okay, I just looked it up. Turns out when they're on land, they are known as a gaggle of geese, but in flight, they're known as a skein or a, a team or a wedge. They're not quite on land or in flight. I'm not sure what to call them when they're in a river. You might remember in a previous video, I tried to go to a food truck called Stella's and I assumed that it was gonna be closed for the season because it's getting cold. Well, look, they built this extension on it and they kept it open. Wait, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? It's closed on Mondays. Uh, where are you going? I'll never get to go. Monday isn't a holiday. Today's a holiday. It's New Year's Eve. That's a holiday for some people. It's not a holiday. Unbelievable. I'll never get to eat here. There's a lot of possible superhero abilities. Being able to make parking spaces out of thin air. That's one of them, I guess. Why can't people just park in the spaces that are allotted to them? I have super hearing, by the way. Super hearing. I can hear every word you're saying. There's people I graduated walking around. <laughs> oh, really? Do yeah. you think they are impressed or do you think they. Uh... The people who bullied me, so I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. oh. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, who cares what they think? Exactly. That's what I say. Who cares what they think? Well, <laughs> is Stella closed? <laughs> Doing a little Sobeys lunch shopping. What are you saying? <laughs> The kids are really distressed by the vlogging that's happening in this crowded restaurant. Because we're associated. It's not a restaurant; with that. it's a grocery. <laughs> yes, you are associated with it. For so now, it's like not a perk of being in a small town. It's not as common. If we were in a big city, people would be like, "Oh yeah, someone's no vlogging one at the grocery store. They're at Whole Foods, whatever." But here, everybody, everybody cares. Maybe just a little too much. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so we're in the aisle with all the treats and the chocolates and the chips and all the stuff. That it, this is the aisle where New Year's resolutions go to die. We're here because Andrea found these treats on sale, which we enjoy, 
but I don't know that these are available in the US. Or they are, but under a different name. Isn't that right? I think they might actually like spell it differently, but I think we both say it the same way. Because we say toffee fee, I no. think. No. <laughs> what? what are you saying? What do you mean? I say toffee fee. Toffee fee? I think, okay. Do you say toffee fee? Well, that's what it says, fee. I say toffee fee. How do the Americans spell it? I think they, like, I think they also say it toffee fee, but they spell it with a Y at the end. Our American I'm, friends, please I guess answer. We're learning things here today. <laughs> the one thing about this time of year is it just gets so dark, so much quicker. It's not that late, really, but it already feels like the day is ending. And it is kind of ending for the vlog. Uh, we're going to be celebrating. New Year's Eve together as a family, and we're just gonna keep it quiet and simple. So I thought I would end things here, but I wanted to come back to the river just to see if that gaggle or wedge or river group of geese are still here. Oh, there's, there's a couple going right there, but I think that's it. They've cleared out. Oh, look. Look, look, look. <gasps> wow, that was cool. Sorry, that was, I just thought that was really cool. Well, what a great note to end on. First of all, Happy New Year to you. And I hope you have a wonderful new year. I hope I do as well. Uh, you know, there's lots of things that are out of our control, but to the extent that things are under our control in those areas, hopefully we can make 2019 a better year for ourselves and for the people around us and in our lives. And with that optimistic thought in mind, happy new year. Even more!